equipe que, que marca muy bien, que no deja lo, los espacios para nosotros jugarmos, pero jugamos en casa y esperamos te, tener la ofensividad desde el principio de la partida. Eh, esperamos también hacer un, un, un gran partido y empezar bien este, este primer juego de la UEFA. Es un equipo muy bien equilibrado, un equipo que no es fácil uh, ganar. Además se demostrando en la uh, Liga Inglesa que tiene um, uh, un carácter de, de sobreponerse en momentos difíciles. Más que una vez se están remontando el resultado adverso que habla de un carácter muy positivo de este equipo. Dread to admit that, but experience will be important. And is that one problem that Martin O'Neill fears tonight? There's not much we can do about it. You know, the people talk about experience and, and maybe we should have a wee bit more experience. We can't, you know, there's a, there's a first time for everything. And today, or, uh, you know, in a Tuesday night, it'll be a first time for a lot of our players. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, some people can freeze. Some people might actually warm to the whole scenario and, and actually do very, very well. But deep down, it won't matter. By the time we've played Atletico the second time round, we will have gained experience. Whether it's a good experience or a bad experience is in the lap of the gods. The Leicester supporters here celebrating a fine win against Tottenham at the weekend are in Madrid in force tonight. Uh, we'll be crossing to Archie McPherson and Gordon Banks uh, shortly for our live coverage of this evening's tie in the Vicente Calderon. But first, let's have a look at a form guide for you. Atletico Madrid have played three times this season. A creditable draw in the Bernabeu against Real. A 5-0 thrashing of Valladolid. And a disappointing defeat by Bilbao at the weekend where they lost by a goal to nil. They're currently in ninth place in the Spanish Premier League. Meanwhile, Leicester City have had a fine start to the season. They began with a win over Aston Villa, followed up with a fine win against Liverpool and got a highly creditable draw against Manchester United, the only team to hold them this season. A draw with Leicester, they're currently... A very good evening from Archie McPherson. 36 years ago, Leicester City came to this very stadium on their first and regrettably last foray into Europe and lost 2-0 despite the fact that he had arguably the finest goalkeeper in the world in their side and who saved a penalty that night and now sits beside me in this bakingly hot Madrid evening. Of course, I refer to Gordon Banks, from whom we'll hear in just a moment. While the Vincenti Calderon Stadium is no Bernabeu, uh, indeed uh, comparing it to the Real Madrid's home is a bit like uh, comparing a hamburger joint to a five-star hotel, but when it's filled to its near capacity of almost 55,000, then it can be a pretty scary sort of arena, as many a team will testify to and the Atletico supporters played an integral part in their side winning the first League Cup double in their history two seasons ago. But it may be something of a relief for Leicester to come here to a stadium, which is, I would judge, only about uh, two-thirds full. And indeed, I got the impression tonight, coming in here, that perhaps the whole city of Madrid is underestimating Leicester, who I suppose is something of an unknown quantity to them. After all, Atletico have won the Cup Winners' Cup in 62, runners-up in 63 and 86, and the European Cup finalists in 74. That's a fair record. By comparison, you have to say Leicester's record is, uh, shall we say, modest. And here we are, almost at the kickoff in this game tonight. An enormous uh, piece of team selection there for Atletico is... Not only is Juninho fit to play after a, a tiny late scare, but their top goal scorer, Jose Caminero, is in the side. Well, Gordon, uh, I, th I saw you getting just slightly nervous towards the, the start of kickoff there as Kiko gets that ball up away by Elliot. Does it bring the memories flooding back? Oh, it certainly does, Archie. I mean, you know, uh, it was my first time in Europe uh, playing with Leicester. Leicester, it was their first time as well. We had a young side, a raw side. We'd had a great game at Leicester. We'd, we'd, we drew 1-1. They scored in the last 10 minutes of the game, but we really did outplay them that night. And to come here with a crowd of, like, 50, 60,000 people was a little bit awesome, but we settled down reasonably well. But they were, they were the better side here. But we're given two penalties, and... Uh, 
Well, almost uh, a very startling moment down the left-hand side there. Good plays. Larden came down there, tried to swing that in. Good defensive play by Walsh there, knocking it out. Centre forward behind him. And the player they've got to watch here, Camonero. Watch Kiko as well. Both prolific strikers in the box, and that's taken away by Marshall, of all people, back there defending, and I think they all have to do that tonight, Gordon. Yeah, definitely, Archie. Look how he's whipping these crosses in as well from the corner. They could be really dangerous at this, but, but, but knowing the Leicester defenders, they'll stick to the duty of the team itself, not just defenders, the team itself will stick to the task, I'm sure, and uh, should be able to cope with that. And do you think K-Mark's going to be breathing down the neck of uh, Janine? You almost, oh. you almost need a plastic surgeon to separate them <laughs> in the, the cup finals they played. Yeah, I'm certain that uh, Martin O'Neill's uh, going along with the task that he did uh, against Middlesbrough in that final, and... Uh, Let's hope that, uh, you know, the other players don't come into the four if we can keep Janino at bay. Now there's Kiko trying to go around the back there. Elliot coming in very quickly to uh, touch that away. Now, of course, they've not had the good start that Leicester have had. They lost to Athletic Bilbao at the weekend, whereas Leicester had a... A superb victory over Spurs, and there, surely, oh a free kick, yeah. and that was... I think that was right to the chin there, Gordon. It was a naughty foul, uh, it really was. He, he, he flicked it over him, and out come the elbow. Look, I mean, normally a player gets booked to centre for that. Well, that was Prodan going in here. Now, uh, Prodan is a very tough character. He comes from Balkan football played uh, international for Romania. I came from Stahl Bucharest this season Lesser to get to give some steel to the side, <laughs> would you believe? There's a little touch Ooh. there and just passed. Good effort. I think Walsh is uh, going to come forward a lot, but I think Marshall got in there too. I think we could cause them problems though, Archie. Lesser can cause them problems with, with those sort of free kicks because they are exceptional in the air and they could, they could get results from that. Marshall going forward, the Ips, uh, Ipswich and Everton player, they've got to watch them going down the left though, particularly strong there. Good ball, that. And I, I just get the impression from the, the first corner kicks that Leicester will know how to defend them all right, at least they're predictable, they know how they're going to come. Yeah, I think they've got an idea now and uh, they get the big men back, look, there's Esky back there and Marshall's back there, big Walshie in the centre. I hope they can uh, they, they can make sure they get these away. Swings and again and this time too much. Well, I think uh, the the sight that uh, Casey Keller would like is a ball very securely in his hands, as it is now. He's getting a good feel of the ball. I think he would like a direct shot just to get a little bit into the the swing of the game. That's that right. ball swinging. These corner kicks are uh, well swerved in towards goal and. This, of course, is the goalkeeper who spends a lot of his time living out of a suitcase going to the United States to play in their efforts to qualify for the World Cup and a very fine goalkeeper. Yes, he is. Excellent goalkeeper. Been an excellent buy for Leicester City. Ah, but can I ask you this? You did uh, say he's he wears spectacles ordinarily, and I wonder what he's going to be like in floodlights. I think he'll be all right, uh, Archie's. You know, he's used to playing under lights. I can't see any reason why... Uh, why, why he shouldn't he shouldn't be prepared for, for, for the eventualities out here tonight played out here to Caminero Caminero lying on the left hand side and uh, almost picked up there offside. Heskey tried to get away with it but uh, it's going to be offside I like the look of Emil Heskey only 19 two footed player won uh, another 21 cap last season full of running yeah good player Archie he's very strong very powerful and he, if he gets the ball at his feet running at, at the fullback and he pushes it past him, he could cause problems tonight. That's Andre putting it down. Nicely touched out there by K-Mark. So far, nothing of Janino. Maybe that's a good sign. And offside again. That ball played out to the left. And uh, no chance of uh, picking that up. So still no scoring. We played about six minutes. Now here Janino. K-Mark indeed uh, tried to fasten on to him. Is it as well? That's uh, another curling ball and hesitation. 
That time by Keller. Well, Gordon, uh, one of the best between the sticks. There might have just been a second thought in his mind there. It's curling away from him, Archie. That was the thing. They, 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 they whip these crossings so well, and, and they look as though they're coming towards the goalkeeper, but they, they hit it with the inside of the foot to curl it away from him. So he, may, he might have done the right thing there, letting it go. Tony coming up with that. Eski coming back. As I said, they're all back now. All 11 Leicester players behind the ball. Plenty of time indeed for that to be brought down by Tony. Try to flick that on uh, Viscano. Well, I think if he picks the ball up here, Heskin makes uh, longish runs or plays it out wide like that. Yeah. Now, this is, is it. Mozzie is it. Look for a little one to Marshall. Just dabbing it out there and wouldn't go for the return. Little bit of misunderstanding between the, the two players there, but you'll get this on a night of great tension. Split inside there to Andre. Andre, tall, powerful player. Shifted out here to Jelly. Well, that was played again into Vieri. Vieri, of course, the ex uh, Juventus player. And again, a, a contrast that really has to be brought out is that this club, under the stewardship of uh, perhaps the most controversial chairman in the business Jesus Gilles has spent 34 million pounds in the close season to reconstruct the side which compares to the I think they saved up the jelly jars at uh, Leicester to, <laughs> by comparison with that I'd, I'd like to, to think that Leicester uh, they, they just seem as though they're just settling a little bit now Archie I'd like to think that they're going to start knocking it around like they did in last, last attack even though it didn't come into to anything just like to think that they're going to get it down, have the confidence to go forward playing football rather than just the long ball. Parker with the long ball this time. And the challenge by the goalkeeper, slightly late there by Molina. I think uh, the man just in front of him got that away, Andre, more than his touch. Yeah, he'll win that. Yeah. Good header from Walsh there. Walsh right in the middle playing the captain's part, but picked up by Caminero. And good covering again. Lennon. Leicester playing that splendidly. Lennon. Lennon coming in. I think it'll be very dangerous to take one and ones like that. No offside oh. this time and very coolly played yeah, well by Molina. Played out, nudged away forward there by Kiko. A nice flowing movement again there by Atletico, but. Uh, I think significantly, Gordon, uh, Leicester are shaping well, you know, they're getting yeah. players back. That's right, Archie. I mean, if we, if, if Leicester City can force them wide like that, I mean, that's fine. Um, you're not going to get a lot of danger out there as regards to scoring opportunities. Uh, it's down the middle that they, they, they could create. Swerving in again, a good save by Keller. That's more positive. And the break, oh, that's a bad foul. Surely, as Neil Lennon has brought down... The Irishman falls and uh, only a little word of rebuke from the Norwegian referee Roy Helge Olsen. Would you have been as beneficent as that, Gordon? Well, uh, if it was the other way, Archie, that's the only problem. They'll, they'll, always, they'll always bring the card out to the visiting team, won't they? You know, they won't bring the card out for the home side. SK wins a corner yeah. kick using that uh, inevitable strength of his. I believe his nickname is Bruno amongst the fans <laughs> for very obvious reasons. Yeah, he's, he's only a young lad, but my goodness me, he's got some speed and strength. Another corner kick taken by Parker, I think, at the far side or else. Uh, Duffy trotting out there. Notice. I think he'll take it uh, left-footed. Just slowly push men up now. I didn't think they were going to send as many up, but they've done the right thing. They've Cleared there by Andre again, who's looking very useful in the air. There's no offside. Marshall getting an effort, and again. 
And his first touch, I think, just let him down yeah. in a very good position. It was a, it was a good opportunity there, wasn't it? It dropped to him, nobody marking him look at all. Pull it down well. And there was his chance there, he, he, he sliced at it, missed the first time, and then got a, a slight deflection the second. Oh, but a very good and promising start here by Leicester. That's towards the far post again. There's Walsh in with a the goal. He's done it, Marshall. Yes. Ian Marshall puts Leicester ahead in exactly 11 and a half minutes. And oh dear, any coach around Europe would give a king's ransom to score an away goal at any time. But at such an early stage of the game, no wonder the manager Radomir Antic is out there looking anxious yes yeah, Steve Walsh on the far post again I knew it I thought he'd create trouble knocks it back across goal and there's Marshall walloping it in great goal what a lovely start for Leicester this is that looks a very fragile defence the goalkeepers look slightly nervous a couple of minutes before that marking's very bad though isn't it Archie in that six yard area leaving men on their own but this is great for Leicester <laughs> may they do it again <laughs> There is Marshall running away to <laughs> appropriate tributes. Huge uh, uh, Leicester support. I think there must be, well, relatively speaking, about three or four thousand on the ground now. And there's Jesus Gil, looking like a very solemn Buddha in the middle of his sanctuary there. And you know he sacked 27 managers in seven years. I'm surprised they get another one, Archie. <laughs> Well, he's not looking too happy, and I can hardly blame him after that very good start. I, you know, the word I would use about this Leicester performance just now is invigorating. Yeah, it's, it's a good start for them, but there's a long way to go yet. I mean, uh, you know, they, they, they shouldn't now sit back on the laurels. They should keep possession when they, when, when they have it and, and don't give it away. And just play as they are doing with confidence. Picked up. Turned down there to Camineros, come back very deep. Just pushed out there, Vieri tried to get it out. And that's a very good play by Izet. That was another good buy by Martin O'Neill. Here it is again, by the way, Gordon. Yeah, well, she looked, knocked it back. Goalkeeper, no chance. It's knocked across the goal, there's no chance, but the marking's so poor. As I say, let's have another one, please. Well, they're getting a free kick for that, but I just got the impression that he may have been boring down and his own momentum carried him forward. But in any case, Janinho going out to that far side, and so far he's been rendered anonymous. And I think the play has flowed past him. It's not so much that he's a failure himself, but here he goes, Janinho. Mm. And touched again by Elliot. That's a dangerous ball, Archie. A very dangerous one, but they've uh, got so many players coming back, picking up in the right places at the right time. Nervy moments from these cross balls, but they have coped with them well. Now here's a direct shot, a goal, and it's brilliant to save. Keller. Good save. Viscano comes forward and lets rip with that. Yes, it's... it's Ball back, running onto it, nobody with him. It's a side footer, really, but it's, it's pushed it over. He's made sure. Well, the man who shot that in has already scored 31 goals in league football, coming from positions like that. Started off his career with uh, Zaragoza and scored six last season. So Casey Keller, ex Millwall man, of course, man of the match in uh, that cup semi-final. I remember a great save he had from Emerson oh, yeah. uh, in that game. I mean, it really was stunning. Oh, yeah, he, he's had it. He's had it since he since he got his transfer from Millwall. That's another free kick, and surely the referee cannot delay long, dipping into his pocket for the yellow card. It's a bit naughty that again. But since his transfer from Millwall, uh, Casey Keller has been a, a really Great saw work for City, he's, he's done a magnificent job back there. And of course, when you have somebody like him in goal, gives confidence to the rest. Parker. I don't think they're going to take uh, these set positions very well now, Atletico. Given, I, I'm astonished, uh, but he is playing outside there, Lennon trying to get it over. Parker. 
too far that time. I'm astonished. He must have done homework on Walsh and away he comes up for the set positions. You would think so. I mean, he does it, he does it week in and week out. Oh dear, that was dangerous. Just touch back, but he did the right thing, Keller. Into Viscano. Good tackling by Lester again. Is it goes forward? There's no offside. Yes, oh, there is. Offside. Just now. In fact, uh, a lady. Let's see from there. Look at the player playing one side in the middle. Oh, Gordon. Yeah, yes, yeah. He was. He was onside. But you're right. Uh, they, they should be looked. You'd have thought they'd have had somebody watching uh, Lester know that Walsh is always there on the far post. Kiko tried to put that down. Played oh, out to oh. uh, this near side now. Guppy, Guppy. goes away on his favourite left-hand side. Steve Guppy wonderful crosser of a ball with his uh, left hand uh, when he comes down the left hand side bit like uh, Bjornby plays for Liverpool you know both yeah, great deliverers of left balls yeah he does, crosses a good ball once again Emil Heskey trying to sneak that the man who went to the same school as Gary Lineker it's a very close community up there. I think they all still live around that area, some of the ex-players, Gordon. They've all, they've all learned from Gary Lineker, I think. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, there's some, there's some... Not at the same time as Gary Lineker, I hasten no, to No, 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 no. <laughs> He's a little bit younger than that. <laughs> Marshall. Left inside there by Laden, looking a bit more prominent. Lennon coming back. Tackling fearsomely, but fair in midfield, and a uh, little bit of uh, Jabaiti, but whether he should touch that or not, but uh, he allowed it to go. I would think he'd had a call from Casey Keller there to leave it, because he, he wouldn't have let that ball go across behind him, across the goal, uh, because he wouldn't know if anybody's behind him or not, so Casey must have shouted there. Well, I can assure you that just underneath us, in the Vincenti Calderon Stadium, there's a rather stunned Atletico audience. Here they are, very quiet. Yeah, the noise is coming from the city supporters, definitely. I think there's been a little disrespect to Leicester City, you don't mind me saying so. I think the, the Madrienos here have thought, well, sort of who are Leicester City? You know, they don't have uh, any great European names. Not one of the great European clubs, but yeah, uh, they surely have seen the recent form. Well, not only that, Archie, but with a club like Leicester, don't, are not on television very much. It's always the top sides, isn't it? They're on television, like the Arsenal, like Manchester United and Liverpool's and so forth. So they don't know much about us, and I think you're right. I think they have uh, taken this game with a you know, pinch of salt, thinking it was going to be easy. And Ray tried to put it forward again, and look at the cluster of Leicester players there, in the right area, all behind the ball again. That was a challenge, or Parker just about to challenge for that. And too many of these uh, Atletico passes being picked up there, absorbed by the, the front of Leicester's midfield. That's all very useful. If they can pick the ball up there, the better the break. Little touch on there, that's good play, and that's just over the top. That was their best move yet, that one, a lovely, a lovely ball to the to the forward and, and pushing it back playing a lovely one too and he found it he found space to get a shot in here push it low push and run beautiful push touch inside by Kiko and a great left foot shot that's not that's very very close they are Proden coming in for that good move well I make it uh, exactly 20 minutes gone that's uh, by my watch and here they go again down the left hand side Well, that's very good play again. Pryor coming forward, knocking that away. Seeing a little bit more of the ball in midfield, Atletico now. Cleared there by Andre again. Marshall trying to pick that up. Jelly. Try to... Here's Janinho. This is the first real run we've had by Janinho in the game and looking dangerous. Offside though. And that's the first time he's really, in that typical piercing manner of his, had a go at the Leicester defence.
Yeah, it's first time he's actually got through. I think he was offside. Yeah, he's definitely offside. I mean, I don't know what, why the crowd are roaring. Uh, it's, a, it's slightly close, but he was definitely off. If you're off, you're off. That's uh, that's it. But yeah, they, they just a little, as you said, just get in a hole of it in midfield. I think what Leicester have to do, Archie, if they can, is not to play too many long balls up to Heskey. I think they've got to try and build just a little bit more and keep possession more because the long ball inevitably gives them possession a little bit too much, I think. Well, he's been left on his own, of course, and that's the fate of uh, so many strikers playing away from home. Uh, and right. too often midfielders cut out just to get to him. But I take your point, and here's a free kick. Uh, clearly, they'll keep their eyes on Walsh this time. Is that the far post again? Elliot is up as well. There's a bit of pushing and shoving going on in that box. And this time, no challenge on the goalkeeper, Molina. Jose Molina. Janino touches it inside, is it? And played inside by Viscano. And almost contemptuously coming away there, Spencer Pryor. This is where we need to keep possession now. Well, you know, I've been watching this game. We've gone uh, halfway through this uh, first half. And, you know, I've seen a lot of European games. And what I like about this team, without outstanding players, outstanding stars yet, maybe not so much household names, but what they have is shape and purpose and organisation. And that's... That's great right. credit to O'Neill. That's right, uh, Martin's really got them uh, to play for each other. He's got them for, to work for each other. And that's half the battle when, when, when a club hasn't got a lot of money to spend. If, he, if the manager can get them to believe that they can play and they work for each other, support each other and, and belief that they can play, then they, 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 they'll have success like Leicester City have done. Offside, 23 minutes gone up by Viscano picking a lot up uh, deep in his own half though and looking for the diagonal runs go back to Tony Andre touched inside by Camonero has been very quiet as well uh, that's run by Vieri it was Vieri who had that original shot by the way very good shot after the one two there's a long ball forward there's no offside but just uh, overstruck there uh, having said about the long ball, I think if they're pushing forward and look a little bit flat, Gordon, maybe that's not a bad uh, notion. Yeah. Oh yeah, if, if that ball's on and, 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 uh, and uh, Amy Oleski can keep on side, it can be very, very dangerous for Atletico because he's got the, the pace to pull away from people. If you're just joining us, Gordon Banks has uh, joined me, Archie McPherson, in the Vincenti Calderon Stadium, where with about 24 minutes gone, Leicester have had a wonderful start a goal by Ian Marshall, which gives him a 1-0 lead at this stage, and there were three against two there. Leicester lucky to survive that one. Ball picked up by Marshall, lying deep and brought down. Free kick. I've noticed, Archie, that Leicester are gambling a little here. I've noticed two or three times it's man for man at the bike, and uh, no, nobody covering. Uh, it's, it's a gamble, but at this moment in time, it seems to be uh, paying dividends. He's kind of Kiki. Touch back by Vieri. Jelly with the curling ball again, and this time Keller takes it easily. Oh, man down. Yes, and he puts that away. Looks like Ian Marshall down on that far side. And they must be wondering. That's Prodan, by the way. Number 23, you uh, saw there. Again, as I said, one of the players they they brought in to add substance to the side. Uh, Daniel Prodan, 25, and there's the injury. Got to watch this, of course. It's going to be some hard tackling in the game and a lot of running. And did he take him? Yeah, on his, he did. I think he stood on his leg. Yeah, there, look, stood right on his leg. And quite frankly, I think he knew what yeah. he was doing. Oh dear. Imagine playing hopscotch oh. with a, a calf muscle. Again, it's a bit naughty. It's cut it, Locke. He's got to go. It's, it's, it's cut it. Well, I think that was deliberate. 
could have been. It could have been, yeah. Off he goes anyway, that's uh, a sad sight. The man who scored the goal has Leicester lead by one goal to nil. Well, Gordon Banks, uh, decided improvement in what happened to you all these years ago. Oh, that's right, Archie. We, uh, we had two penalties given against us, and uh, they were give, given, I tell you, they were really gives, because they, they were very dubious. Um, and, of course, they scored one, and I saved one. Um, but we still went down, unfortunately, 2 0. So Leicester lead by one goal to nil. Tony, this Kino. Jelly. Leicester not breaking this time, leaving Lennon in midfield there. Neil Lennon to make the attack on the player. There's Vieri. Yeah, he just playing in behind. That's a, a lovely ball that was played forward there. And uh, they really have to watch Kiko coming in. It's a good run, wasn't it? It's a great run by Kiko. And Caminero, Ca Caminero, I think, and Kiko both together raiding that box well now. Yes, that was a, that was a great run, great ball. If it had control, it might have it been, been a wee bit of trouble there for, for the City. Picked up by Jelly again, getting a lot of balls inside. Now Vieri, the man from Juventus. Well, that looked uh, very predictable indeed. He, he seemed to run out of ideas there, Christian Vieri. He was looking for the free kick, wasn't he, Archie? To the whole host of clubs at the age of 24. Torino, Pisa, Atlanta, Juve and Atletico. And you know, when a team is having to work very hard and probably be a little bit defensively inclined just now it is tempting to hit the long ball away yes it is but that, that, this is this is what I meant by a really a really class side will keep possession they won't look for the long ball all the time obviously there are times when you have to kick it clear but when you've got time on the ball you should you should come out and support and keep a hold of it Leonard unless they've done this in the Premier this is the thing they've done it in the Premier and I'd like Obviously to see them do it tonight if they could if they got the confidence to do it Kodad puts it in that's a better ball again and Vieri came forward Came rattling in there Vieri Good marking again though About 17 minutes remaining of this half well, you know, when I see them playing short balls like that against fast, nippy Raiders, they are gambling. Well, they are and they're not. It, it, it's a matter of confidence, Archie. And, and though, though they're playing away from home, you know, if they're going to be if they're going to be a top side, then this is what they have to do in this sort of a climate. And I think uh, we may be on the verge of a substitution. Probably Claridge, I would think, coming on, is it? That's yes. very sad. It's, I, think. I think it's now looking likely that Claridge is about to come on. The substitute, I think they've had a look at uh, Ian Marshall, and it doesn't look too good. We shall see in a moment or two. I thought I saw the, uh, the trainer making look as though he needed stitches. That's why he's probably gone off. Round the outside he goes beautifully cut off there these two central defenders have been quite outstanding that's one of them Elliot getting right behind there and the two of them together and the referee despite the fact that the Atletico Madrid supporters are on their feet screaming at him says no penalty Elliot and Pryor together just a little nudge in the bike but I wouldn't there's no penalty there at all Yes, they're trying to catch the referee's attention now, and it looks as if Claridge will come on. Yep. Steve Claridge, and they're just touched away. Just past the post. Well, I think they delayed this, the substitution there. Good corner again, though, Archie. Look, whipped in. You know, a defender's not got a great deal of time to get there when they punched in like that. It's a great corner kick. You know, you can't really blame defenders for things like that. When the player leaves his, his, his defender and gets to the ball first when that ball's whipped in, there's not much they can do. Well, they're allowing Janinho to roam a bit. He's been doing a lot down the left-hand side, but trying to get the ball down the left-hand side. 
Caminero. There he is. In a very modest performance by Janino. And on his on his form, he really is a beautiful player to watch. I mean, I, we saw him in Eurosport playing in uh, Brazil football, and here he goes again, and he was like a, a newspaper boy who had wandered onto the pitch by mistake, and they'd, they'd asked him to stay because of his great ability. And, yeah. uh, and you, you know, tonight he's been sort of lost. Yeah, well, again, Leicester, you know, were the Oracle, they've got put somebody on him that, that's kept him quiet, and he has... He, just as he did in that game uh, with Middlesbrough, he's had very little of the ball. And, uh, there he is, Janinho now trying to go away, and there a free kick against him. Used to say about him that he wouldn't last in uh, English football, but you know he played in Brazilian oh. club football, which is brutal at times. Yes, and, and 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 he did well. He did well in the Premier, didn't he? I mean, you you can't say a bad word against the man. He, he excited people. But what, what Leicester have done, done the homework, because what they've said is we can't allow him to run at our defence and take people on, which, that's his strength. And I think that's great of the manager again. Trying to get it uh, to Heskey. Certainly he's bold enough, even at that tender age, to oh, take yeah. on very experienced players. I mean, he's playing against uh, internationals there, out there tonight. And... Well, He's he... performed exceptionally well. Andre, in, in particular, seems to be trying to deal with him. Now, Arda goes to the outside again. Claiming a free kick, and this time I think they'll get it. Yes. Tackle there by Lennon. Dangerous position this arch, isn't it? Little bit of uh, linguistics going on there between them. The way that Juninho can bend the ball, they've probably got other people in there that can curl a ball this is a, a very dangerous position now for, for Leicester and also Andre is coming up he can certainly he can, thunder them in yeah. but Janinho stepping back here Andre having a look at the defensive setup Keller in goal tense and there's the effort and Keller save. Excellent. excellent free kick there yeah, look at the way it's curl over the top of the heads. I always think they can jump, you know, the Italian uh, the Italian walls jump for a free kick like that. So they get another couple of feet and uh, it certainly just just went over the uh, city heads, as it were, and just went round. Uh, Kelly just got to get across to save it. Good save. Forward by Andre. Jelly picking up. City down to Jelly and Walsh stepping in there, putting that away safely. Well, I think these tackles from the back, like that, and this time by Guppy, will inevitably bring a free kick with this referee. Caminero going down. Caminero sat slightly disappointed, but as I said uh, before the start, Gordon. Uh, there seemed to be a little bit of doubt about his fitness for the game tonight. Yes, uh, yeah, he's, he's not really looked 100%, has he? But that's a silly tackle, really. Um, he's gone through the back of him, and, and really they can't afford to give those sorts of free kicks away. Well, a sign of the way the game is going, the Atletico players and their supporters are shouting for virtually anything that gives, or that they might get something out of. Complaining about the way the ball was put back, and... Janinho, Caminero, Kiko, that's a brilliant ball inside and well anticipated and right beyond Vieri coming in and one of the best moves of the game so far. Oh, it's a good move, isn't it, Archie? It, it really split Leicester wide open. A lovely ball down for the uh, the outside left there. The way he shoves an early ball across the goal, look. Oh, that's a, that's a great ball. A bit unlucky. And, and of course, Leicester have got to really uh, make sure that they're marking these guys when, when they're making those fo those sort of forward runs. And it did show you the pace that they have on the side as well. Brought an exceptionally fast. Yes. So, and Larden, of course, both of them coming up frequently. 
Well, Arden is uh, an exceptional player, of course. He has that uh, pace. You saw how he gets into the box. Ex Espanol player. It's paid four million for him. Yeah, it was a good move, that. And as you say, it shows the speed. They can really accelerate when they, when they know that space is on and that ball's going to come. Uh, played inside. He's Kaino not getting as much of the play as he did earlier on and uh, just touched uh, past there as Pryor tried to get hold of it. Another throw there into Janinho. Doesn't seem to be relishing this game tonight, but you never know with him. And that is just inside there and no flag as Caminero went forward. And I think a fully fit uh, Caminero might just have got to that. He seems to me to have a kind of muscular tension tonight. I'm not sure whether Casey should have come for that one. He was quite close to the goal, but fortunately uh, Leicester got away with that. And I think significantly at this stage with about uh, eight minutes to go to have time, looks as if Atletico are coming more and more into this game. That's the ball that Caminero almost touched. I think he was looking for the goalkeeper to come for it. Nice little run on the outside, but I think the referee is awarding a corner kick. Certainly surprised the Atletico players. Quite adamant about it. And once again, Walsh. Walsh is not exactly running forward to this, because let me remind you, uh, around about 6 o'clock tonight, it was something like... Uh, 26 degrees in Madrid so that's another factor that has to be looked at very carefully and they're straight to Molina and I think these players will have to pace themselves as Vieira goes for that I think he's finding it difficult though against Elliot good player by Elliot I like this lad Elliot I think he's a good player exceptionally good player well, he certainly goes in uh, very intelligently when they signed him, it was a club record at the time, 1.6 million from uh, Oxford. Tragedy for him, he missed the Wembley Cup final. Awkward one for Keller. Concedes the corner kick. Now, this is a very crucial moment in any game at all. We've got about, I think, about uh, six minutes remaining of this half. And Leicester will want to keep it up here. Well, coming from the back was Jelly to try to supplement the attack that Caminero was making coming forward. Still 1-0. Well, usually the crowd in here is a very vociferous audience, but they've been effectively silenced by that early goal. I noticed at the last corner kick uh, that uh, Walsh had gone up again, and nobody was picking him up. He was just inside the penalty, and he was he was waving for the corner kick, and he was quite annoyed when he didn't get it. But you'd have thought they'd, have, <laughs> they'd be watching him a little bit more. Well, Claridge, of course, did come on eventually. Claridge on number nine. Then one of these players you can uh, rely on to make a real team effort. Signed a, a played a, a major part with 21 goals, no less. That's the number nine for the people outside of Leicester who don't know this team all that well. Who's just come on? Of course, a man has scored. The League Cup winner. He's on the field now. Kiko trying to go in there and the shooting a little bit wild. And I think they're being put off. That was Larden this time. I, th I don't think that was created though. It was a little mistake there by one of the Leicester defenders. They had the ball actually and, and, and they, they just miscontrol mis uh, it and it went to him for a shot. Keller should deal with this. Offside again, I think, uh, Atletico. Maybe ominously seeing a lot more of the ball. 
And coming into the play now, uh, both Kiko, Caminero and Vieri. All interchanging well, this is Caminero. Little dab forward, there is uh, Kiko. Right in on the goalkeeper, remember him as the man who scored the winning goal in the Olympics in Barcelona for Spain in the last seconds of the game, which has kind of immortalised them. And a free kick. Yeah, the, the, the crowd are complaining there, Archie, but he, he wanted to see what, if Leicester had got possession so he could wave play on, but they didn't, and then he blew for the free kick, which the crowd went a bit silly about, which was silly in itself. Well, they've broken up the attacks, though, Gordon. There's, yes. The, the, there has been a certain amount of fluency in the last ten minutes from Atletico, but... Yeah, not, but not not really threatening. No, no, they're not they're not really splitting that defence wide open at all, are they? No offside. The goalkeeper commits himself, and away it goes into the crowd. Charging figure there of Emil Heskey. Yeah, he's got a lonely task up there, hasn't he? He's battling away. They'll, they'll be making a lot of those runs. I Just think, wonder, right. one of these lads who you know scores significant goals when he made his debut for England under 21, he scored. So we might get a European goal off him as well tonight. Certainly been in there. There's one, a chance to oh! it's off the side net. Wow. If he hadn't touched that, that was falling to the man I was saying. Correct. Could get that goal. Oh, he was in. Nearly an own goal, so close. Goalkeeper had committed himself for the cross. Guy stuck his leg out and he just hit the side of the post. Andre it was who reached across for that well there was little else he could do that was almost two what a goal that would have been three minutes from half time balls there again not this time Kmart putting it out there then Elliot Esky lovely ball inside Claring with a lovely little touch and it just over I say so. Glorious move there again by Leicester and uh, Claridge. Maybe had he been on from the start, I don't know. Substitutes coming on, hasn't been on all that long. Gordon. Lovely header from Esky there, bouncing straight at Claridge. Nobody marking him, tried a little lob. He was very, very unlucky. That was a good effort. Really was. I doubt very much if he could have done any better. Well, he could have scored, of course, but the way he took it was the right way to take it. He did, he did exceptionally well. He was very, very unlucky. Here's Larden again. The man has been making the runs down the left-hand side and looking by far the most prominent player. Heskey picks it up and gets another free kick, enraging the Madrid crowd. I think, I think they're shouting through frustration, Archie. This is frustration because the team aren't creating and scoring, I think. Well, the referee, uh, what has the card out, uh, at long last, Vizcaino gets it. And actually, I think it was simply the nearest man to them, because they all could have been yellow carded. Yeah, it's for arguing that. Anyway, just before half-time, it does break up the pattern of the play again, I think, with Leicester leading by one goal to nil. That's exactly what they want to do. But also near the second goal. That's a very good sign for the future. I think both for Leicester and English football and that lad up front there is playing with great maturity and courage. I mean, he's he's against, uh, let, let's be honest, from the Foyle and Marshall, quite cynical defenders. And he's sticking to his task. Look at him again. Yes, he's prepared to have a goal. He's prepared to take people on. And, and he's prepared to take the knocks, which obviously he'll get it at this level of football. Well, the gentleman giving him the message there was Tony, the captain. There's Walsh again, look. He's coming up uh, again, and uh, <laughs> Tony may regret this. Touch there again, and... Uh, Just took it off his head. Now the break. This is what they've got to watch. Largens on the far side, so is Vieri. But well cut off. Neatly touched away. And a combination of moves there in midfield, started by Kmart.
Laden, first touch let him down. And I don't think uh, it was the moment for creativity across in that far side. Oh, you're dead right, Archie. Let's let's clear our lines in the, in those circumstances. Better ball. Laden. Back they come again. That uh, played out for a corner kick. And all giving great support in this game. Is it Lennon, Parker? Yeah, they, they, they're doing it. Guppy. Exactly exactly what they do in the Premier, they're supporting, have, helping each other, working for each other, Archie. Into stoppage time in the first half, and I think a free kick awarded, and very quickly taken, corner and kick. a corner kick given. So we have uh, Janinho going across the on that far side. He might in that six-yard box, look at them. In it goes. Neatly held. He can't hang on to it too long though, that's a problem. <laughs> He's got the, uh, whatever it is, five seconds, is it now? Six seconds. Nicely brought down there by Parker. Trying to put it forward to Guppy. That's Kiko, the passing, just a little bit erratic at the moment. Nice inside by Izet. Uh, Kylie uh, chasing after that to try and pressurize Yeli. Nicely taken there. Parker comes away with it. Claridge. Coming good backing by Guppy. That's a left footed ball of his. Just a little bit short in that. Steve Guppy, the ex uh, Port Vale player, had a stint at Newcastle, by the way. Short spell there under Kevin Keegan. Before moving on. And Casey Keller. Keller, I think, is going to qualify for France. It looks as if the States will get there as the halftime whistle goes. And a complaint by Janinho there. And Leicester, that name of Leicester, I think, might yet come to haunt this young, talented Brazilian because his side are trailing one goal to nil. A uh, lovely goal indeed, scored by Ian Marshall, who sadly has had to go off with what looks like a serious uh, cut to his calf muscle. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back to the Vincente Calderon Stadium with the second half, three seconds old. Kickoff just taken with, of course, Leicester City leading by one goal to nil. That goal scored by Ian Marshall. This is Archie McPherson. I have with me Gordon Banks and uh, the side fearing rather better than when Gordon last played here all these years ago and playing as I said uh, Gordon at, uh, at halftime in a very professional and organized way yeah they've, they've, they've shown uh, that they, they can play this type of football in the Premier League and uh, this first half has, has, has shown that they've done exactly the same thing um, and they, they, they're doing quite well they're, they're limiting Atletico's chances of shots on goal, and I think that's good play by Leicester. And that's is it uh, being brought down there, and that's a, a free kick. They were getting rather ratty towards the end of the first half, of course, appealing for anything, sniping at the referee. Yeah, the crowd, the crowd chirping as well because they were frustrating Atletico, and uh, they wanted the free kicks and in dangerous situations, Archie, didn't they? Free kick now to Leicester with, I'm quite sure. A growing frustration. I mean, it was very palpable. You could feel it right round the stadium as Leicester absorbed all the attacks. It, there was a phase about 20 minutes uh, towards the end of that first half when Atletico began to look slightly more dangerous. Yes, they knotted about well and created a couple of chances, but, uh, well, you know... Then a nice ball inside! And I really do like the play of Heskey. A little bit unfortunate there, sliding as the ball went one way, he went the other. And look how far back Caminero is. Here he is, picking up the ball again. I think he's limping ever so slightly. Not opening out a lot. It doesn't look 100%, does it? As I said, they're absolutely fighting for everything. That was rather loose play, though, by Claridge that time. Having come back, he's come on as a substitute and had a wonderful chance uh, towards the end of the first half. Although he did take the ball rather well, trying to lob the goalkeeper. 
Yes, it did. And then, of course, there was the possibility of an own goal, which would have uh, stood Leicester handsomely. Eske, that's a brutal tackle again. And I think he's now target man number one for this yeah. team. Yes, I think they've got their eye on him now. I think they know he's, uh, he's a bit strong up there and powerful, and I think they're uh, trying to slow him down a bit with the one or two naughty tackles. Captain of the side is led by example. Just about to take that, Steve Walsh, going into his second decade with the club. Mr. Leicester, there he is going back there to defend. That's a bit of ball to the outside, Larden trying to pick it up. Judged well and good defending again by Walsh, the man we were mentioning there. Caminero, that's good turning and good support work again. They do that very well indeed. Excellent defending by Walsh though, wasn't it? It was a good ball in, but he just managed to get his head to it. SK going for that, and the goalkeeper for the second time of the game, having to come out of his box and use his head. Yeah, does he? He commands that area very well, actually. He plays like a sweeper, doesn't he? Of course, yeah, you lived the in these ball. luxurious days when they had passbacks and so on. Oh, that's right, Archie. The easy days. I could pick it up, couldn't I? <laughs> the simple days. <laughs> Claridge. Back by Walsh, who tended to go way across to that left-hand side. Signed from Wigan away back in 1986 for £100,000. That was great value when oh, you think of it. I mean, what a, what a sign. Uh, terrific. Oh, he's had a fair a number of sendings off and uh, and injuries as well, which has disrupted his career. I think that's enthusiasm more than anything else. I don't think he's a particularly dirty player, to be honest. I think he's just a hundred percent man all the time. Is it? I think was coming in at the back, and uh, it's a free kick as Larden looks as if he's going to lose his temper there. And look into Jordi Larden. He came from uh, Espanyol this season for a lot of money four million pounds worth and set the very much a speed merchant on this left hand side trouble is he's not had the the service that I think he would ideally like he's had one penetrating ball given to him and these long balls are cut off very well either by uh, Elliot or by Pryor yeah, I mean, they're almost like twins down there, Gordon. They are, aren't they? Yeah, you, you can hardly uh, recognise either of them. But you have to give uh, less a lot of credit for the way that they are defending uh, in numbers. Uh, so they are cutting chances down for wingers, for for, for the two front men, uh, the two centre forwards they have up there. And, and you know, it, it's good work. It's good work by Leicester. Working very hard. I think they've got to stop this ball going to the left hand side to this man now, Larden. He was so prominent in the first half. Quick, yeah, and Janinho trying to get out of a jungle of uh, protection. There he is again. Came out with him, just keeping his eye on the ball. And then staying with him. <laughs> Lardin. Tries to move inside. Uh, Claridge held up that ball very well indeed. It looked to me to be pulled it back. Was. I think they'll get yeah. a free kick out of it. Yeah, it was certainly, it was certainly pulled back there. So this will be taken by Neil Lennon, the man who played yeah, the second half the of last season with a broken toe, which I think sums up the spirit of this club. Eskew's got to watch the offside again, look. It's just All the way one. through to the goalkeeper. No problem at all there, Vieri left on his own, Christian Vieri played for Torino, Pisa, Ravenna, Venice, Atlanta, Juventus, been around a bit. That won't reach Heskey, I don't think. At the back, Andre, captain here on the side, Tony. Yeah, he plays it out very quickly, and Larden almost gets away. That'll be a free kick. Lennon following up there. 
a team of bargain buys bought from crew alexandra for three quarters of a million which is a good bargain there is kiko trying Caminero goes in as well good kiko at the back and no offside here is Vieri tries to put it away puts three efforts there what a good save archie from keller that was lovely through ball there blocked it came on blocked it well disappointing ball put in there by jelly nice tackle again is comes away and i think that's just gone out well they needed that that again eight minutes into the second half that could have been a very significant transformation of the game it was a uh, Caminero, then Kike, and then Vieri, all with scoring chances. It's like to stay calm a bit here, Archie. You know, they're just getting a little bit ragged now. One or two uh, little fouls, but then they're arguing with the referee. If they just get on with the game, make sure they get players picked up. Jardinio with it in the head of Caminero. I think some of the Atletico supporters behind the goal were thinking there was a bit of a shove there. I think they're pulling for a corner, Archie. Let's see when it comes over if we see it. I don't think I'm going to see it, but I think he added it against one of the Leicester's defender's shoulder. I think that's what they're appealing for a corner. Keller remaining imperturbable in this game. Touched in there by Guppy. It's a pity that Marshall had to go off. Let me remind you that Marshall went off with a bad uh, cut on his calf muscle because he was linking the line very well and looked very promising. Scoring the goal, of course, should be neatly set up. And now I think they're wanting to hold on to the ball, and I think that's why it's Heskey. Quickly touch back and look it away in this side. Izet was screaming for the ball just below us here. Yes, it did have now the up. Counter attack and beautifully headed back there again. Elliot and uh, Pryor have been outstanding together, as I've said, and the referee. <laughs> Desperation, Archie, there. He's knocked it out of the goalkeeper's hands. Well, answer me this. How can, how can he judge, in any case, how can he judge six seconds? Well, it's like uh, <laughs> and they want to go for this <laughs> well they usually do that with a cape and a bull <laughs> well if that's uh, you know i think that's a bit of desperation there and let's hope leicester can keep them frustrated tony Andre, Jelly, Janinho, away goes again, trying to get his freedom, and Lennon and Kmark beside him. What the miracle again. Parker. Don't think he'll keep that in. Oh, he did. Knocked it back very kindly to Jelly. Uh, Caminero. This time, uh, Pryor, Spencer Pryor, who's had European experience. He played for Norwich, of course, in Europe. So he can bring to bear on this game what he had with Norwich, although I have to say that this performance tonight is hardly exceeded by anything that his mates did there. Well, they'll enjoy playing down there in this, won't they? That's a very loose ball. That's the frustration you were talking about, Gordon. And away goes Lennon. Duffy trying to go down that left-hand side and take him on. I thought he would go to the outside, but he doesn't. Andre. Now, Janinho. Jelly. Just inside him, Caminero. Back goes Lennon. Caminero. Kiko tried to play the one-two, is claiming a free kick here, but it's offside. 
There was a problem about uh, Caminero in terms of uh, selection. That's Kiko, by the way. Uh, people not quite knowing where he should play in the field. You know, uh, either as an outright striker. Here's Janinho. There's Caminero laying it off there as Vieri comes in. And he can hit him with his right foot like that as well. And I think substitution is uh, Tony. The captain is coming off. There's Vieri shot. Yeah, good shot. But he's well wide. So when I say well wide, he's about three yards wide. And Keller got down well. I think he might have had it covered. Now onto the field comes number 14, Jose Marie. Man who signed uh, from Seville for this season. Scored six goals for Seville last season, so they're looking for goals again. Absolutely vital. They cannot allow themselves to go back uh, to Leicester on what would, in any case, under any circumstances, would be a hazardous journey for them. Now the one goal down. That's the sub trying to get forward there, and they get the corner kick. As you say, Archie, they've got to come forward now. You know, a goal down, playing on their home ground. We really have got to look for at least one goal here now. I think that's the reason why they're pushing the sub on there. Janinho again floats it in. That's by Pryor. See the variation in the pitch down there as Keller takes out. The pitch has been just replenished. They've had uh, great difficulty with the grass here. And indeed, they were worried about their normal passing game because they like a very good surface and they certainly don't have that in certain areas certainly in the Leicester half at this moment but they've come through a rather sticky phrase again and looks as if they've survived that there will be those moments in the game Caminero beautiful ball to the outside and down goes Killer no margin for error there, Gordon Banks, a yeah. many box out of 10 for oh, that. That's, that's a super save. It, we know it's not going in the net, but he's cut a, a dangerous uh, ball across the area that could have got to one of the Atletico forwards feet. And as you rightly say, Archie, he had to hold on to it, otherwise it could have rolled loose for, a, for an open goal. It's a good, good stop, that. Juninho back very deep again. Kiko. He's Kaino, Jelly. Caminero doing a lot of wandering now. And that wasn't a bad ball played right across the goal. And the Madrid audience here rising to him. The substitute, Jose Marie. I think so long as Leicester don't go too deep Archie which can cause problems for the goalkeeper then you know you don't mind them defending but providing they don't go too deep Lennon sliding in and our great deal of this game must be about very hard work discipline and concentration offside, offside. still uh, it was very close They'd worked that much better, and they've obviously brought uh, the substitute on there for pace on the right-hand side. It was off. I make it 16 minutes gone in the second half. Leicester still leading by one goal to nil. Goal by Ian Marshall. We haven't heard just how serious that cut to his uh, muscle was, but it was a pretty cynical foul. We saw it in glorious Technicolor. Yes, he, uh, he deliberately stood on his leg, I'm pretty certain of that. Eske, shielding the ball very well, just keeps it in. Well, it's quite right to take it a little walk down to the corner flag. Time is on Leicester's side. He got what he wanted there, Archie, a throw in. I thought that was left just a little bit uh, unwisely by this cano there. Captain say taken over by Caminero, not uh, at all surprising. Oh, he's going to prove his fitness when he's away down here in the left-hand side taking throw-ins. 
Janinho. And let's not underestimate the tactics of this Leicester side. They've nullified, up till now anyway, the threat of Janinho. Caminero lays it. Wrong side of the player. Jose Marie. And that's a very insipid ending to what looked a promising move. Let's get back to the tactics, which I think are all important here. Uh, Janinho is a wonderful player, but he's been shackled properly. Yeah, that, 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 without question. You know, uh, Kamak has, has obviously been set, been told to get stay with him wherever he goes. It doesn't matter where he goes, he's going to stay with him, he's going to stand on his toes, and he's not going to give him a kick. And this is exactly what's happened. He's been very insignificant in this game, Archie. Might be having another substitution coming up here. I see the very strong figure of the Czech Republic player, Radek Bezbul, about to come on, and he is. On it comes. Signed uh, last season, came from Slavia Prague, of course, who, who had an extremely successful run in Europe with players like uh, Bezbul. Uh, talk about Iron being introduced to the side. He is your actual rivet. <laughs> He's the bolt, is he? Now Parker to take this. Time is important now. It's 19 minutes, almost gone. Up comes Lennon again. Bezbul almost gets that through. No side. Escape tries for it himself. It players on the far side there who are not at all amused that that ball wasn't put across. Yeah, they were in a good position there. Arch. He should have pulled it round, I think, rather than try an effort. He had course. Elliot on the far side. Yeah. Now Janinho. This time he drifts away from his marker. Well, what mattered there was a the marking of the other players off him. Push forward there by Gary Parker, who you consider uh, Gordon Banks, the real playmaker of the side. Yeah, that's definitely right. But he's looking a little bit tired now, Archie. He's looking a tiny bit tired. No free kick. And that enrages the manager again, Radomir Antic who's had the longest spell as a coach under Jesus Gilles, the president of this club, than any of the last 27 managers they've had in the last seven years. In fact, the symbol of this club should be a revolving door, I think. <laughs> the sleigh board and the piece of chalk on a string <laughs> with a sponge at the side of it on the manager's door. Well, you know all about it. <laughs> yes. Pesky just given a call for offside, but again there was a little bit of space for him to go into. Bezbo. Janinho. Kmart gives him the shoulder again, fairly. Pontus Kmart, of course, from IFK Gothenburg. Looks for the one-two from Claridge. Gets it and then brushed off the ball and the referee waves play on. That was slightly dubious that. A little bit of hesitation. I thought uh, Parker might have been going for that. Yeah, no call was it? And across comes K Mark again to, to mark out. Bezbul can't get it. Good play by Lennon again fieriness and conviction about his play which I think you need in a tempestuous cauldron like this Benny with a chance a great save and just scooped away again the pressure still on Jose Luis and bundled away corner kick and you know that must be disappointing to Atletico a corner out of positions like that yeah you, you, you've got to say Casey Keller again here you know it's it's Look at that positioning, he's absolutely stood up as well until he hit it. Then he makes the save. Then he gets a scramble at the corner at, at the near post to scramble it out for a corner. Well, they've been very good in the air defending either Elliot or Pry get their heads to that, and that's a very disappointing ending to that. And that is a shot born of sheer frustration 
and a heartening sight for Leicester. Just for a moment, I thought Caminera was going to bust out in tears there. Yeah, it was a good, it was a, ch a chance for them, but the more this happens, Archie, the heads are going to go down, I think, the longer this, you know, that Leicester can keep playing as they are doing, keep the chances down to a minimum, and obviously hope that they don't get that vital goal. Kiko coming across here to pick that up. Spanish international Kiko, of course. Kiko plays for the international team just in behind the strikers with the likes of Alfonso still in the side. Jose Luis, another corner. And as long as the marking is tight, shouldn't be too much danger from this. Yeah, here's the uh, save again from Keller. Look, brought it down beautifully on his left bank. But Casey stood up, made the save. Good shot. Caminero, can he get the touch? Kiko tries to bring it down and then just clearing the ground, that's all they want. Getting it away from the danger zone. I think all adding to the frustration by my watch, uh, just about 24 minutes of the second half gone. Caminero. Lennon pops up, what a marvellous game Lennon's had. Any kind of loose thing in midfield, and all of a sudden you see that red hair of his. Yeah, he's working hard, isn't he? No, they try to play the one-two, and that was just in, yes! Janinho! One little burst from this man, who's been marked out of the game thus far, and he puts it away. Wonderful little one-two there. Nothing this time that Keller could do anything about. Well, we maybe unwisely had written this man off because of the close marking, but there, a touch of does, genius. Does he have a bit of fortune here, though? Watch that. I mean, I'm not, he, if he toe pokes it, and he, he, I don't think Keller had no chance with it. I, I thought he might have taken the deflection, but it hasn't done. 20. He's, got, he, he's toe pokes it here, look. Gets a return here, and then out comes that foot just now there. It does get a deflection. Oh dear, a little bit of fortune there, but Look, never mind. Looked like Walsh coming across here. Yeah, he just got a deflection. But the persistent running there, he just kept his course, yeah. laid his trail and went right after it. Yeah, as you say, just a quick break by him. He's, he's got this lovely burst of speed, hasn't he? So, 20 minutes remaining, it's now one each. But let us not forget, Leicester do have that away goal now, that's a useful ball, and just touch past. Well, when they come forward like that, it really can be dangerous. Yeah, Pryor, I think, was on the end of that one, but it was a free kick, Arch, he's given a free kick for it, for leaning against the, the player, the defender. Now, a substitution here, we're having Fenton come on now. On comes Fenton, towards the end of this game, played out to Larden. I think it's Parker that's gone off, isn't it? Looks like it, and they're touched inside beautifully, they really are playing. Oh. Penalty kick is being awarded. Oh, and there's a fight developing in the box there, and that was rather stupid. Yes. Jelly and Walsh came in, and is getting... Rather unpleasant. Yeah, this is silly. They've got to keep their heads here. Well, I think what happened is they just said a word with the player went down. I think they might have been saying he'd been diving and he took strong exception to a jelly. Oh, he's not. He, he, he's, he's put his foot out for the foot to get the ball first and then the guy's just thrown himself over his leg. So we have a penalty kick. No, I'm sorry if I'd have thought it was a proper. And there it goes. 27 minutes gone, and Vieri gives Atletico the lead. 
Two goals in three minutes. And isn't that so typical of a scene that I've seen so often in Spain, a team playing very well indeed, holding a lead, and then suddenly inside uh, two or three minutes, wonderful bursts. Yeah, and it's wholly transformed. Yeah, that's right, Archie. The, the, you know, it, this can happen with these continental teams. But Le Leicester now have got to keep their heads. They've still got this away goal. Now, providing they don't panic now, then they, they should be OK. Kiko. Still running there. That's taken away by Walsh, who's standing there tall and strong, and he'll need to be for the rest of this game. 17 minutes left and there another shot of the president Jesus Gil looking slightly more like the purring cat he can very often look like Janinho just kept the ball nicely in I would have thought and Lennon thought that as well it didn't look like a foul at all to me or maybe it, it, it might have been a little push. Free kick. Might have been a push. As I said, this way they've got to keep the heads. Janinho with it. Nudged away. And the only player up there for Leicester was Claridge this time. up and under crucial now for a steadying of the nerves Fenton having come on here now to play a very important part they want another goal there's no question about that they're going to put the the pressure on here I think they were just frustrated there, Archie, about that penalty. I still don't think it was a penalty, but it's been given and that's it. it, it they won't change the referee's mind. Jose Luis, Caminero, that looked a little bit obvious. And suddenly a team that scored two goals inside uh, these four minutes are replenished. They look a different team, a little s more spring in the legs. And a free kick, just when Leicester looked as if they had interesting possession, that was Guppy. On towards Heskey. And he gets away, and I think the referee penalising him. He's a cumbersome guy, and I think he's going to get a lot of free kicks awarded against him, not because he's malicious in any way, but because he's a strong player. That's right, he, he's, got this, he's got to show his strength, Archie. And uh, he, he shows it in the way that he feels right, and lots of times he'll get he'll get free kicks against him, and some given again uh, for him as well. Well, Janinho is certainly reborn after that uh, electrifying burst he had into the penalty area. Came out going with him. Quite astonishing how he was taken on. Here's Larden, and off the legs of Lennon, who's popping up everywhere. I doubt very much if this rather bare pitch in parts has not uh, seen the, the studs of that man Lennon Lardin they're all hand back everybody behind the ball for Leicester training now by two goals to one there's Kiko with it and it's hovering and you couldn't blame the captain for that Walsh getting right up there Well, they're certainly putting the pressure on now, Archie. Well, Gordon Banks, uh, you know, the, the goalkeeping position is always a very important one. By the way, there's a substitution here. And on comes Pantic. Milinko Pantic, the man from Yugoslavia. Played for Partizan Belgrade and then Pananios in Greece. A lot of these diagonal balls going in, they're just stabbing it away. Walsh getting it there, and I think... Offside. And it might have been there, there was also a little push on him too. In yeah, fact, an elbow. He's having a word with the player. And so is Elliot. <laughs> 
13 minutes left. Well, from being one up and then having to analyze a, a 2 1 down, you have to say, in that sense, disappointing. But, you know, if you'd asked uh, if the score was 2 1 at this stage before the game started, you would say pretty good. Oh, that's right, actually. They would have been happy with that. Um, but it, it must be so disappointing for the players getting two in, in, that, in those few minutes. That, that must have been the, the disheartening part uh, because no, no longer had they uh, conceded the one, then there's a penalty against them. And, you know, that obviously makes them disappointed. But if they can just get their heads up, be nice and steady and calm, collective, then, and get a, you know, finish this game 2 1, then they'll have had a great result. That is dangerous. Elliot just gets it away. Lennon picked up so much defensively and started so many moves. Now the beginning, I think, to exhibit signs of tiredness. That could be fatal. Away goes Vieira. And I think he gets a free kick. Well, he seemed to be going across the path of the player. I just, I just hope, Archie, the referee is as kind to Leicester City in the second leg. Well, it certainly won't be him, but... Uh, to say that there is a niggle down there is an understatement. There's been an undercurrent of uh, of tension in this game, and there is a very placatory Elliot. Uh, I think it was Pryor there trying to. I don't think he was trying to arm lock him. Just gentle diplomatic gesture. That's what you say. If you do any more, I'll be, this will be Sora. <laughs> But this is a dangerous position again, isn't it? Especially with Janino and uh, Caminero, is it? Well, they're both there. And they can both hit the ball quite hard. I think Janino will have a go at this. In one effort, he put it uh, straight against the defensive wall in the first half. Tense moment for Leicester. There it goes right past this time. Well, when you think that Andre came all the way forward uh, for that, I think maybe they got the wrong player for that time. Now, here's what's been going on here. A little lesson in yeah, how to get rid silly. of Janino. Yeah, it's a bit silly. It's almost as if he's saying, you See? little pest. Yeah. And he's prior again. This is the only problem. He's uh, a little bit... Hot-headed at times, but uh, as I say, it's a bit of a boiling pot down there, isn't it? There he puts that back. Jelly. There's one going right into the box. And just that penalty kick. Kiko. Not big Glennon there. Now it's Kiko. Look at the ball going into the box now. Now Jose Luis. We're getting so many players forward now. Janino going across, real appetite for the game now. Janino, ball whipped away from him. I wouldn't be surprised if Wicklow comes on for Leicester. One or two tired legs out there now. Bejo. Laden, Lennon. Quite incredible. Look, I think if he doesn't watch, his shots are going to fall off him, but... Who would blame him for that, given the effort he's put into this game? Bejbo gives it away rather slackly, as you said, Gordon. Disappointing that uh, from one up, two one down. But nevertheless, with only about nine minutes remaining or so, there will be some stoppage time, obviously. This uh, ends up as a good result. Any goal away from home. Yes. I did say to some Leicester supporters earlier today, you were there, that 2-1 would be a very good result for them. Yeah. They, 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 all the club, the players, everybody will be happy with the, uh, a 2-1, but it's not over yet. Certainly and, uh, not. <laughs> they've got a lot of work to do yet still, Archie. They really are. Because Atletico are coming for them, like, continuously now. Badic. K-Mark. Still sticking to his task, and that just kept in, I think. Heskey was back defending. And that, uh, well, they can try that all night. I don't think they're going to beat the goalkeeper in the form he's in there, Gordon. 
No, no, he's, 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 he's playing exceptionally well, Cal, and uh, if he can keep Atletico to shoot him from that distance, then I'm sure he'll be quite happy, and uh, so will the manager. Just wonder if a goalkeeper, you know, a, a, a spectacle-wearing goalkeeper when he's off the field might have bothered with longish shots. So, Gordon, does it make any difference, you think? I don't think so, to be honest. Um, I think he'll be OK. He's, you know, he's very steady, Casey. He's, he's, you know, he's a very steady goalkeeper. And uh, you need something like that at the back, as I, as I said earlier on. It gives the rest of the defence a lot of confidence to do the jobs. So, seven minutes remaining. I think about a couple of minutes of stoppage time, maybe two and a half minutes, three, something like that. Which can be an awfully long time. We're talking about the time that it took for Atletico to score their two goals. Claridge fighting hard for that. Can he lay it back properly? Is it? And that's dripping in, but taken eventually by Molina, who hasn't had, to be fair, Gordon, all that much to do in the second half. No, he's not. No, he's, uh, he's been a, 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 a sort of a, a, look, a one looker, hasn't he? Um, they've really pushed Leicester back this, this second half, but, you know, give, give Leicester credit. They, they've defended well, even though the two goals have gone in. Lennon picked that up well, and Heskey taken right out of it. Now, I think uh, the average European referee would produce a yellow card for that, and he does. Right on cue. <laughs> Looking there for Prodan. Well, I mean, Heskey's been knocked about quite uh, severely, hasn't he? Uh, wherever he's been on the field, and I think uh, I think that was overdue a booking uh, against him. There. Tell you, when the going gets rough, he's the kind of boy I'd have by my side. He's been courageous tonight. They've He'll been go after him. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got a big heart, that lad. He'll go again. Lennon. Just keeping possession, I think, is important now for Leicester. Coming towards the last five minutes of the game, still 2-1 to Atletico. Nicely brought inside, is it? Trying to get uh, Heskey going again, who is running right across the edge of the penalty box. Now, this could be dangerous, bit of space here. Vieri, Janinho, Bejbo, little Brazilian again. Well, Kiko just stood his ground there. He felt the ball was going to get to him eventually. Well, I think the passing has to be more accurate than that at this stage, Gordon. You know, yeah. giving this, the ball away in midfield could be this, fatal. Yeah, this is what I was saying. You know, they really have got these snooze so lobbing big, big boots over the top of the, the, the Atletico defence. If they can drop them short to, to the Leicester players so that they can control it and keep Leicester in possession. This is, this is what I meant uh, in, the, in the first half there. Well, I, I don't know about you, but I, looking purely at the Leicester players, I'd make Lennon my man of the match, simply because, you know, his name has hardly been away from our lips. Yeah, that's right. I mean, uh, uh, you, you could have given it to uh, come up, but, uh, you know, he's done a great man-for-man -man job on Janinho, even though he scored the goal. Um, but Lennon has been all over the place, hasn't he? Made some very, very good timely tackles and has worked tremendously hard. And we'll have to do in the next four minutes. Here's Larden. And thankfully for Leicester, he hasn't had all that much service in the second half. Now, well, you can see the signs of there of tiredness, some of the stockings down around the ankles. They're not running after the ball just as uh, eagerly as they did. I mentioned that word invigorating about the performance in the first half. There's yeah. now slightly more duel and it has to be Jose Luis. Give it a bit of space there. Trying to go on his own and a uh, little bit selfish eventually. Here Kiko and Vieri. Good position inside the box. I thought Martin might have made a substitution now, look here. Well, Zellen, Lennon with his first mistake of the game, I wonder if it could be fatal now. Stepping back there was Elliot. There's that big boot again, Archie, you know, giving possession to the most, and try, just try if he can to just be a little bit 
more confident and cool. Giannino. Well, for so long in this game, we have to be honest with ourselves. We virtually wrote them off because of the excellent uh, tactics of Leicester. And then suddenly, he does show that uh, he can't be pinned down for the entire 90 minutes. His bust brought Atletico back into the game. Yeah, that's very true. Cluster of heads up there. Keller just behind them. Yes, yeah, some of the players looking desperately tired now. Another free kick given night right on the edge of the box. He won the ball. He won the ball in the air. I mean, how, how can you give a, a, a free kick there when he's got up above the player to head it clear? Well, now, if you're watching this, uh, I'm sure many are watching this, especially back in Leicester. Uh, well, it's now a, a dramatic ending here. Might have been a push, uh, Gordon. See the hands sure, up. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I think a player's got to use his arms to get up, to, to, to get the height to head it. Well, a dramatic ending to this game. Free kick in a very difficult position for Leicester. Just about the last minute of the game going on here, and Janino takes the ball away. And that eases the pressure. Into the last minute. And can they hold out? They've, they've been so disciplined throughout. I think it's tiredness has got to some of them at the end. And I, I'm sure they suffered that severe psychological blow of losing two goals so quickly. Vieri. Leonard going across again. His very presence, I think, putting Laden off. Oh, he did that very well, Lennon. He did his screen him away from the ball, didn't he? Important, that. Well, Danny just... Lennon from Crew, 750,000. As I said, he played second half of the season with a broken toe, so that characterizes his spirit. But not just, that's not damning with faint praise. He can play. He's been there putting forward useful passes as well. Now, at the back here, Prodan. The Madrid crowd wanting them to push forward, though, at this stage. Well, if Leicester can hang on now, Archie. Andre. to go. My goodness me, it will be a good result for them. 2-1, and we're now moving into stoppage time. Well, if uh, Leicester can contain them here and let them play the ball about, all is well. They're trying the long ball this time. Kiko coming up, whipped away though. Elliot did well again, now Lennon. Just delays it to try and get Nehesky driven away there. Surely That's a free ridiculous. kick. Now he suffered that kind of uh, attention throughout this game. And as I said, the young lad, only 19, he stood up to it. And I think he's got a very useful career in front of him. He's learned a lot tonight, that's for sure. Well, we're not seeing it uh, on the screen, but here it is. There, look here. Look at him. He's pulling and pushing the guy completely off the ball. Well, that's, that's ridiculous. I'd like to see you meeting this referee after the game when we have a drink. It. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, no, don't, please. <laughs> I'd be quite annoyed, I think. And up goes Molina. Yeah, good Takes catch well. and pressure, but uh, I think Walsh is. Uh, the foul against Steve Walsh. Might have a bit of cramp, I think, Walshy. Let's hope they get organised at the back now without him. Jose Luis taking his time to come up the field. He's still in the Madrid half. There he is, just trotting over the halfway line. Not at a great rate of knots, and he wants to hold on to this. Wow, what of a pace here. The goalkeeper read it well, though. Playing it simply, and I make it not officially by my watch, uh, just about two minutes into stoppage time. And there goes the final whistle. That is a commendable result. Disappointing in the sense that they, they played excellently in the first half, deservedly went in one goal up, but then losing these two goals so quickly towards the end of the second half.
that in itself a disappointment but overall if anybody had said 2-1 at the end of the night anybody in Leicester I think by and large would have accepted that yeah that's right Archie they, 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 they played really well against a good a good team from uh, uh, from Spain here and uh, the way they went about the task I think it's been really really commendable uh, obviously um, the manager has, has, has had a look a, look a little look at this side and planned his ta tactics and it was only as you say the disappointment of those two goals in the space of a few minutes um, I think it was a penalty looking on it in hindsight um, but you know at least hope as I said the referees the referees good for us at Leicester and there's a crowd that is I think very satisfied Well, Jesus Gil goes away, I think a very hazardous journey for he and his uh, cohorts when they, they come to Leicester, because Leicester, if uh, the performances this season, and I watched the game uh, on Saturday, and they're really outstanding against the Spurs, so I see no reason. They should not be at all uh, put off by that uh, defeat. They won't be overawed, Archie, because I believe, I sincerely believe, that they can play better football than they've played tonight. Well, Gordon Banks, you just heard his voice there. Uh, they were beaten 2 0 the last time he was here, but uh, Gordon delighted with the performance tonight. From Arch McPherson and Gordon Banks in Madrid, goodbye.